when Ed would get really manic and religious, he would say that he is John the Baptist or the Messiah. I was raised in a very religious family. But one time he had me trapped on the chair for hours filming him. He baptized me with a bottle of water. I was encouraged by youth leaders to get involved in ministry. He came over and he was throwing water on me. My goal at the age of 18 was to become a youth minister. And I got up to get a towel and he's cursing me, telling me to come set back down. I just felt very passionate about spreading the gospel. Uh, what's your reaction to what Bill's saying there? I mean, he's absolutely right. I was, uh, when I would go on a, um, you know, diatribe or whatever, um, I just felt like, you know, whatever I was saying was the most important thing in the world. And um, it was all a very goofy thing. Uh, we were laughing quite a bit that day and uh, as I'm talking yeah I baptized myself and then I <laughs> but it, it was not an actual uh, uh, meant to be a real religious experience it was just talking and being goofy but I did expect a lot of patience out of yeah. my sister and brother-in-law especially you've you've not seen your stepfather since March I already grieved the loss of my mother and stepfather well, are you saying you've written him off? I it's just, over, you've grieved it, he's gone? It's... I just feel like that relationship is over now. Mm -hmm. why, why is it over? Um, I just feel like um, there's no more to benefit from, from continuing. I mean, I was very hurt by their behavior, um, both their initial uh, way that they treated me and then uh, the way that they uh, basically had me arrested by saying that I was a danger to myself and others, and that was completely untrue. Um, you know, the last time I saw my father, uh, he tried to attack me and then called the police on me that saying that I came there looking for a fight. Would you agree that you've been erratic in your behavior and your emotions? Yes. You agree that you are dealing with a mental illness. Yes. You agree that your emotions have been labile and that your perceptions, what you're saying to yourself about the world are suspect at times. Mm -hmm. Would that not cause you to believe that maybe that your perceptions of your interactions with others you know, any, any of these four here or others might be something you would want to withhold judgment on until you knew you were completely straight and level? I mean, it seems prudent, of course. Our parents have always, always helped Ed, looked after him, went above and beyond to do things for him his entire life and helped him with his children. And as a matter of fact, um, one of them is, is living with my folks. And so I don't think that my parents would intentionally turn their back on him. So my, I was concerned that he was throwing away this relationship based on this one thing, but what about the other 49 years? This is a multi-sided, this is kind of like a mental, emotional, familial, relational Rubik's Cube. It's not quite as simple as they betrayed you, so you wrote them off and that's, that's it. And you're doing this while you're spinning around. You strike me as smarter than that. You strike me as smart enough to say, you know, I might want to withhold final judgment on all this until I know somebody I trust is telling me, okay, you're looking at this clearly. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, again, just it hasn't been something that has been a priority for me. Um, I know it's impacted the family. This is bigger than just myself. They're raising one of your children? They have. Uh, my son's living with them, yeah. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.